morning you guys so it is day one of my water fast i'm sorry the setup's a little weird i was kind of in a rush this morning i'm on my way to work now and i was just too much of a rush when i was at home so here we are it's day one of my water fast i don't have any plan on going for a certain number of days however long i could do it for um, I'm very excited because I know it's gonna make me feel so much better if you don't know what fasting does to a person and you are automatically gonna assume it's just starving yourself wrong like you cannot be any more wrong um, I'll go into detail later I just kind of want to like start off this video by telling you this is day one I weighed myself this morning and <clears throat> I think it's a little more than what I normally weigh because a couple days ago I was like 207 but I weighed myself this morning and I was 211 on the dot. Mind you, last night <clears throat> I had I had a very heavy last meal. Like hold on, I'm turning really fast. It was very carb filled and kind of fattening. Oh, the sun is bright. I'll insert a picture here of what I had. I don't know why. I was just craving. I was just craving an everything bagel with cream cheese. I've been wanting that for like weeks now so we made that i made like a big old type of sausage cream cheese sandwich on the bagel yellow rice on the side which was so good and i'm still feeling it like i still feel very eh, lethargic and full and a little bit nauseous too honestly um i went to the bathroom this morning this video is probably going to be tmi all over the place and that's okay because with me um, doing my research and looking up water fasting, I wanted to know all of the details about it, everything it entails. And um, yeah, I went to the bathroom a little bit, but I wasn't able to fully go. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited to get the benefits off of this water fasting. I am not doing it for weight loss. Yes, I could stand to lose a couple pounds and I know I will. And that is cool and exciting for me, but the whole reason why I'm doing this is to cleanse my body and detox my body because I know there's a lot of shit that I've been consuming and um, toxins in the air, parasites, even like organic vegetables, like the things that are on there. It's all just shit. First water of the day. Yeah, baby. I'm also doing this for discipline reasons. Uh. Yeah, to discipline myself. And you do have to have a lot of self-control when you're doing this fast. I'm gonna hold you guys. Um, I already did the six, I already did a, like a raw food diet challenge thing for six days and that was fun. That was really hard though. You definitely have to get creative and you have to learn, you know, how to prepare food for sure unless you're just gonna snack on whole foods all day but I did that and yeah I've never done like a, just a plain water fasting before Wow, I'm just hitting all the red lights I love it I never done like a plain water fast before so this will be very new and exciting so I decided to do it today one because it's Monday and I love starting things on a Monday it's like the ultimate fresh start for me but two, I work today and then I'm off tomorrow. And then um, I work Wednesday and then I'm off for two days. So yeah, the discipline part of it, I'm also excited for just to see how far I could push myself. I'll give you guys more info about water fasting later and um, the real reason why I'm doing it. But this is just to brush off on. This is day one, I am at work now. And yeah, right now I feel okay. I don't feel hungry. I don't usually feel hungry in the mornings, but I'm also, like I said, extremely full and I feel kind of like sick from my dinner last night. So I think I'll be good. My whole thing is, is that when I'm working 
and uh, or like working out or something, I feel like I'm gonna end up feeling like lightheaded if I don't get some sort of nutrients. I don't know, but best believe I have enough like fat stores for my body to eat. Yeah, I hear the first three days to week are the worst, um, but we will see. I usually don't eat while I'm at work anyways, and I'm gonna be here for about five, six hours. Yeah, like five and a half hours. So yeah, I'm excited, we'll see. I went and got water yesterday at the store, and then I have this Evermore water too. So yeah, I'm just gonna be chugging this while I'm at work, and I will keep you guys updated when I get off of work or anywhere in between, we shall see. So yeah, day one of the water fast. Hi guys, I'm back. Just got off of work. That would be why I am such a sweaty mess. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the way I'm feeling right now. So, like I said earlier, I don't normally eat really anything while I'm at work. If anything, I'll have like a fresh pressed juice while I'm there. Or like towards the end of the day, I'll have like um, whatever potatoes are left over. Like, we have home fries at my job, so I kind of just, like, eat those at the end of the day sometimes. So, I'm around food all day while I'm at my job, and normally it doesn't really phase me, but I guess because I know I can't eat, well, you know, I can, but choosing not to for this cleanse. So, knowing that I can't, like, eat, it kind of made it worse for me, like... It was a little bit difficult. It was hard. Like being around the food and not giving in. Not even like pickles, yo. Like I couldn't I couldn't even eat pickles. And there were some leftover pickles and I freaking love pickles so much, right? How many times am I going to say pickles? Goddamn. And when I saw that they were leftover, I was like um not from a like not from someone's plate no i don't know if you're thinking that but no they were just like left over on the side whatever um and like i was literally about to go and grab one but i was like holy shit wait a second no like i'm doing the water fast i can't even do that i can't even eat pickles so it is difficult like i have major cravings right now you could say i'm a little hangry but I'm okay. I kind of want to, you know, I I want to discipline myself because I know I don't need to eat right now. And us humans have gotten so used to overindulging so easily. Not everybody, but I can definitely vouch for it. I overindulge all the time. Not eating anything, it's definitely challenging but I know I can do it. I'm not sure how many days I'm gonna be able to go, but I'm gonna go as long as I can. Yeah, I'm sipping on some ice water right now. I brought this bottle to work. You saw this morning. I brought this whole bottle to work and now I am literally almost done with it. I've just been sipping on it anytime I got a craving or anytime um, I was feeling a little hungry. I just sipped on some water and I tend to overthink things all of the time. So when I'm constantly thinking, oh my God, I can't eat today, I can't eat today, like how long am I gonna last, blah, blah, blah. I'm like hyping myself up and I know I shouldn't do that. So I'm just gonna kind of go with the flow, not think about it, I'll keep myself busy. I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do when I get home because normally I just kind of like lay in bed and eat so it'll be interesting to say the least i'm excited i'm excited to wake up tomorrow and feel like slimmer like completely deep bloated i'm like so freaking excited about that this video is just gonna be mm, depending on how long i do it like if i'm only doing it a couple days i'm gonna 
extend this video for all of those days and cover all of it. So I might make like my whole fast into one video. But if it's longer than a few days, then I'll do like a part one or a part two kind of thing. I guess I will see you guys when I get home or for any updates. I'm gonna start editing this video just so I'm like up to date with it and I don't have to wait until the end to do all of the editing. And yeah, I will see you guys when I get home. So as you can tell, I'm in bed right now. Um, what the fuck? We got a pen mark and scratches for my cat all over my hand. Love that. I just wanted to say, so I just uploaded a video on my channel and I really, I don't know if I would call it the munchies or hangry or hungry, whatever. But honestly, like, I'm craving raw food right now. Like, I was watching my, I did like a raw vegan six day diet thing back in March and I was watching my video because I made like zucchini noodles with like an avocado pepper creamy sauce to go over it and I was just thinking like yo that sounds so freaking good right now like raw foods sound so good a banana freshly you know washed grapes just avocados and tomatoes like i don't know but fruits and vegetables just sound so good right now and i can't even have that and i'm just like sitting here like fuck. so i thought i'd just you know tell you guys this is in real time folks i'm laying in my bed i was reading this book you are a badass just to give my self something to do so i'm not just thinking about food constantly but you know i uploaded a video and now i'm like this is such an ugly view <laughs> and now i'm binge watching my videos and yeah just thought i'd let you know that i'm really craving raw foods right now raw fruit and vegetable raw fruit and vegetables i'm still sipping on my water i need to fill this up and yeah, I'm about to go on Pinterest and look up a load of raw vegan meals for coming off of this fast. Because when I come off, depending shit on how many days I do it, I don't want to dive into like cooked foods automatically or like a big meal. So if I don't start with like a soup or something, I'm definitely doing raw. Even if I do get a soup, it's going to be like a raw soup. So I might just, you know, dive into the raw vegan right after this cleanse because that just sounds amazing right now. Like maybe it's because I can't have that right now, but <clears throat> oh, fuck, it just sounds amazing. So yeah, I'm going to go on Pinterest now, make a board of all completely raw, raw vegan meals and get some ideas for when I get off of this cleanse. All right, so it's about 7.30 p.m. It's still day one. Um, I'm sitting with the candy corn Halloween lights. Don't ask me why, I just wanted to be festive. I'm feeling okay. The cravings, the more I think about food, you know, the more I'm craving it. But still craving like raw fruits and vegetables, mainly vegetables for some reason. But yeah, I feel good. I know when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna be feeling so much better. Like, I usually wake up bloated. And I, I feel like tomorrow morning, I'm not going to. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to lose weight. Like, I'm really freaking excited. Granted, I know a good amount of it is gonna be water weight, but whatever. I'm on um, my phone right now looking up like other people who did the water fasting just so I can see what their journey's about. And yeah, then I'm gonna look up some Pinterest raw recipes, but it's nearing the end of day one and I really wanna take some melatonin just so I go to sleep earlier, but I kinda don't wanna put anything in my body that is not water. So yeah, just thought I'd update you guys. I'm feeling all right. A little bit tired, a little sluggish, but not too bad. 
but from like four to six, it was pretty brutal for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm doing good so far. If I don't update you guys later, then nothing exciting happened. I'm still sipping on some water. I finished that um, bottle that you saw this morning. It was two quarts, so half a gallon. I'm probably going to drink maybe like three more cups of water before I go to sleep. And who knows? You might see me tomorrow morning or later today. Probably not because there's nothing much to say. The day's almost over anyway, so. <clears throat> but yeah. I will see you when I see ya. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Good morning, you guys. So it's day two, about 9 a.m. I just woke up um, about 30 minutes ago. And... The night was okay. I definitely had to wake up multiple times to go to the bathroom. I probably went to the bathroom like around 10 times yesterday. Pee, which was expected. But besides having to wake up and then like falling back asleep, it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't terrible. And then I woke up and thankfully I did have a bowel movement. I read that, um, some people experience like not being able to go to the bathroom for like multiple days at a time but that was not the case for me thank you i woke up with like a nasty taste in my mouth like of course it's morning breath but maybe like a film on the on my tongue i'll just show you guys just to um give you all the deets it's not too bad i mean it's only the second day but it just feels like there's a film and I keep wanting to spit. So I'm gonna go um, brush my teeth and then I will start drinking water. I am down four pounds since I started. Um, 211 was my starting weight and I weighed myself about five minutes ago and I'm 207. So that's cool, but yeah, it's definitely mind over matter. Like, it is definitely, definitely hard. Like, it's really hard. You have to have a lot of self-control. But I'm vegan. That alone is a lot of self-control. And I've done the raw vegan thing for almost a week, which is also self-control. So mind over matter. Um, and you just definitely have to keep drinking water. So I think I also might take B12 and magnesium today. We'll see. I'm going to read the bottle um, and make sure I don't have to eat it with food. I don't think I do, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm going to go brush my teeth now because my mouth is just feeling all types of... Ugh. Just kidding. I love water. I plan on doing like a whole separate video of my experience doing this water fast and what advice i would give to people i've seen there were some who do the water fast and they just drink any kind of water i wouldn't really recommend that it depends um what reason you're doing the water fast for some people will flat out just say i'm doing it for weight loss and then sure then you could drink whatever water you want but if you're doing it to cleanse your body and get rid of detox and all the bad shit, then you definitely should be drinking alkaline water as opposed to acidic water because illness thrives in acidity. So you definitely wanna be picky when it comes to your water. And you should drink water that has electrolytes in it just so you can keep your body um, you know, nourished with the electrolytes. Yeah, I'll touch more on that on the whole um, experience and advice thing. I'll touch on that in another video. But yeah, I want this video to like give you guys some insight of what the water fast is like. 
instead of me just talking in front of a camera and saying, well, I experienced this and that, like I want you to see it for yourself in real time. Anything I'm feeling or experiencing, I will turn on the camera and let you guys know. But until then, it is 9 a.m. And so I'm gonna chill in bed for about 20 minutes or so, relax, and then I'm gonna start cleaning my house, turn up the music, light a very fall themed candle, pumpkin apple from Bath and Body Works, you have my heart. And then I'm gonna take a shower and I think that'll help me feel a lot better taking a shower. I'll update you guys as I go along. If I have any updates, we'll see. All right, so it's still day two. It is about to be two o'clock and I just took a shower. I feel a little bit more refreshed. Been drinking my water, almost halfway done. What I have not been doing is cleaning or pretty much anything else. Maybe because I just moved so much within the past 20 minutes that I'm starting to feel a little shaky because I've been laying in bed all morning, literally all morning. And I don't even want to go downstairs because I don't want anything to tempt me. But yeah, I'm feeling a little shaky right now. So I'm going to sip on some water. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've been like looking at myself in the mirror a lot and I weighed myself a few times today and it's as if I'm like losing weight by the hour. It's crazy. It's really freaking challenging, not gonna lie. I feel like I already look different on camera and it hasn't even been like two days. But yeah, it's just been an unproductive day. I've spent my whole morning looking at mukbangs and recipes and things that I just should not be looking at right now being on this fast. And can I just say, I am craving burritos so bad right now. I told you earlier I was craving fresh fruits and vegetables, big old rainbow salad with creamy avocado cashew dressing. That sounds amazing and I would love to have that right now. But, oh my gosh. I made the mistake and started watching mukbangs and I was watching this guy who was eating Taco Bell and I was like, yo, for the little times that I crave Taco Bell, I am craving it so freaking bad right now. Like a bean and rice and potato burrito with hot sauce and making homemade vegan queso. That sounds so good. Or a cheeseburger burrito that I made in one of my last videos. Like, I'm starting to get delusional because I'm just like having so many fantasies of different foods that I want to eat right now. And, um, yeah, shit's tough. It is really tough. I will say, I'm not, I don't think I feel hungry. Like my stomach's growling and I am shaky, but it's weird. It's as if I'm thinking like, I know my body needs food, but I'm not personally hungry. Kind of like when you're sick, like your stomach growls, but you don't have an appetite. Um, but my body doesn't need food right now. Like water fasting is so beneficial, it's ridiculous. But these are just the detox symptoms and I don't know. I'm, I just want this day to be over with. Can I just say, first of all, time is going by so damn slow, it's ridiculous. Like time is going by so freaking slow. And it's my day off. And usually my days off, I can't snap with this hand. Go by so quick. Not today. I wanna get to day three already. Um, I work tomorrow and I'm honestly a little nervous about how it's gonna go because my job can definitely get pretty busy. I just don't wanna get lightheaded and I don't wanna like feel like I'm gonna faint because I hate that feeling. So we will see. I'm going to listen to my body as much as I'm loving the progress so far. Like I feel like my face is already slimmer. You know, my body looks crazy different and I've lost five to six pounds right now, by now. Um, I'm gonna listen to my body 
all the water fasts are amazing for you. It's not for everybody. You know, if you have an eating disorder or you're diabetic or you're pregnant or breastfeeding, um, anemic, you know, things like that, I don't recommend you doing this. But for the most part, it is a very natural and healthy practice. However, we'll see. I just, I don't like when I get shaky. So I'm rambling now. The first three days are the worst, I hear. I'm just ready for the, I don't even know how to say it. It's a, is it autophagy, autography? I don't know. The process in which your cells recycle and get rid of um, old ones and like regenerate new cells, something like that. And some people experience euphoria, like on the fourth day. I'm just ready to get there. I don't know if I'm going to get there. We will see. But, yeah, that's an update. Look at my background. It's so damn messy. I did light the candle, though. The pumpkin apple, and it smells so good in here. But I guess I'm just going to continue drinking water and until my boyfriend gets home in a couple hours. And then he's going to eat, and I'm just going to sip on some water. All right, you guys. I decided to end the fast. It's been like 44 hours, which I think is amazing nonetheless. But I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I'm struggling a little bit. So what I'm going to break my fast with, I will show you guys too. My boyfriend just got off of work and he's going to pick me up some juicy, juicy watermelon and sweet grapes. Oh my God, I can taste it. I can taste it. Like I know it's going to be so damn good and I cannot wait. I'm starting to feel very anxious now because I know it's coming and I just want to eat it. So um, I've decided that I'm going to start doing intermittent fasting daily or at least five times a week where i eat like in a six to eight hour window and then i fast for the rest of the day and while i'm sleeping just because fasting is very good and i think that's an awesome way to fast if you don't want to give up you know food entirely intermittent fasting is great for that and it's also good for weight loss too so um speaking of weight loss right now i'm in a romper that didn't really fit me too well a couple months ago. Or this romper, had I tried this on a few days ago, it would not look good on me, but right now it's looking so nice. I'm feeling very lean in it. This is gonna be my 40, 45 hour fast video, my journey. And then I'm gonna make a separate video and tell you guys my experience, what I plan on doing in the future and um, you know, like I said earlier, advice and tips and all of that. So yeah, I will see you guys when I have my delicious, mm, I'm so excited, delicious, delicious fruits. And on and on we'll go through the wastelands. Through the I don't think you guys realize how excited I am right now. It's as if I haven't eaten in months. Look at this juicy, ah, uh, succulent bowl of grapes. And look at this. Look how red that is. That's how you know I haven't eaten. Because for someone to talk about fruit that highly, fuck, man. It looks so good. Look at it. And it's 5.43 p.m. First meal in 43 and a half hours. <sighs> Yo. Mm. This is the juiciest watermelon ever. OMG. I appreciate food so much more now. Now for grapes. 
Mm -mm. I hope these are nice and sweet. Mmm. Sorry to wash it out. Mmm. So good. Oh yeah. It's like my um, taste buds are like heightened. And I've seen a lot of people say that during their fast. I didn't think it would happen to me with only doing it for less than 48 hours. Brandon just got in the shower. I'm gonna finish, not finish, cause I'm already starting to get full. My stomach's drunk a lot. I'm gonna eat some of this and then he's gonna have some and yeah, I'll check in with you later. I definitely don't recommend, I don't recommend you breaking your fast with something like Zha Zha Myung. It's very oily and carb filled. I just don't know when the fuck to learn, so I haven't had this Zha Zha Myung in a hot minute, and whatever. It is what it is, I guess. Hey guys. All right, so it has been a couple days since I last checked in. And by couple, I mean like three. So I did the cleanse for a total of like 43 hours, almost two days, but not quite. But um, I thought I'd just update you guys. It's been a few days, how I've been feeling, etc. I just got off of work, so that's why I look greasier than McDonald's fries. <laughs> um, So... I broke the fast with watermelon and grapes. And that night I had Zha Zha Myon, which is Korean black bean noodles. It's a very heavy, like fattening, carb filled dish. One of my favorite foods ever. And I knew I shouldn't have eaten it because my stomach was not used to having food in its body, let alone heavy food like that. So, Around 8.30 or so, I had Zha Zha Myon. And it was good. Like, it tasted amazing. I had two packs. That's what I normally have. And I felt okay after I ate it. But then I woke up the next morning and, oh boy, I was paying for it. Like, I felt so sick. I felt really, really, like, nauseous. Um, so I went to the bathroom. There's some more TMI for you. So I ended the fast Tuesday. Woke up Wednesday feeling like absolute crap because I had the noodles. And um, like later on that day, I had the turkey cutlet sandwich with potatoes. When I went to work Wednesday, a coworker of mine gave me some like amino powder. It's It has like um, green tea extract. So it was like a natural caffeine and like an alternative to coffee. I just wanted to try the flavor she got because it sounded good, but she ended up making me like a whole cup. I'm like, girl, I don't need all this. I literally took like one to two sips and that shit, like I was bouncing off the walls. Like I was extremely hyper to the point where I was like almost like shaky, like nervous. You know how you get like if you drink coffee on an empty stomach, at least for me, that's how I get. So I was like, holy crap, like, Maybe I'm like sensitive to coffee now or like sensitive to caffeine, which, you know, there's no surprise there. But um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. And so that was Wednesday. I had that and the um, turkey cutlets and that's all I had. So Thursday I made barbecue jackfruit, like jackfruit that I baked and then I added barbecue sauce to it. And I had two sandwiches on buns with the jackfruit and we also had oh, I'm a mess and we also had um chips and queso all vegan of course Thursday and 
I felt like crap afterwards. And then I woke up yesterday and I had a nice salad with romaine lettuce, some leftover jackfruit that I just um, baked until it got like a little crispy. I threw some onion in there, vegan ranch, um, just a little bit of vegan ranch and like half a teaspoon of bacon bits just for the crunch. And then I had that and that like held me over for a few hours. Um, I had a couple bites of my boyfriend's veggie ramen. And then I went out last night with my mom, sister and brother and we ended up going to Chick-fil-A and I had a large fry and they have like a superfood side that I tried for the first time yesterday, which is really good. It was like a mix of um, broccolini and there was like craisins in there. They gave me nuts on the side, but I didn't have that. Um, and then Polynesian sauce. And then I had Jaja -Ja when I got home, like a couple hours later. But here's the thing. If I see food in front of me or like if I'm looking in the kitchen and I see something I want and I'm not hungry, I will still make it and eat it just because I'm craving it. And that is not okay. That is not good. And no wonder why my stomach's fucked up all the time because I eat when I'm not hungry. So I had Jaja me on a little late last night, but um, yeah. Did I gain all the weight back? No. I started at 211 and right now I'm like at 206. Like some days it's 206.4, some days it's 206.2. So I'm in that range. Um, and my lowest was 205 point something. So I lost quite a bit of weight. I'm keeping it off or I'm trying to at least. And um, definitely gonna start eating healthier. That night when I broke my fast, I was just like, yo, I really want some Jaja Meong. So we drove about 10 to 15 minutes to get some Jaja. And now that's gone, I don't have any temptations with that. Um, just gonna be eating like more home cooked meals and I'm still gonna be doing intermittent fasting and eight o'clock is usually my cutoff time. Like after that, I don't eat because then my stomach will hurt when I wake up in the morning and I hate waking up with like that nauseous feeling. My stomach definitely shrunk in a way that I get full fast and I'm still drinking a lot of water. I did have a coffee today because I was, I was, I went to work for a few hours and I was too busy, I couldn't eat. So I drank some coffee just to like hold me over, suppress my appetite just for a little bit until I got off. And then um, I just had half of a veggie sandwich with like roasted vegetables and a pesto and um, that was really good. So yeah, that's my update. That is what's been going on for the past few days that I haven't been filming and updating you guys. Okay, so it's a few days later and I wasn't going to continue this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know how in my last clip I said that I lost, I think it was like six pounds, but then I gained back a few. Girl, I weighed myself this morning. It's been eight days since I started the water fast. I started on Monday and then I ended like Tuesday night and it's now Tuesday morning um and i weighed myself this morning and i am down to 203.4 i think it was like not only did i lose the weight from the water fast and maintain that weight loss but i lost an additional two pounds on top of that i have no idea how like i said to you guys before after the water fast my stomach was like like my stomach completely shrunk and I wasn't able to eat that much. I only ate like once a day for a few days and I didn't eat past a certain time. But lately, like the past couple of days, I have been kind of getting my um, appetite back and eating more. But I've also been eating like some unhealthy stuff. You guys already know. Um, trying to be better though, like making salads instead of like a sandwich with bread and all that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that. That's crazy. I was not expecting to weigh myself and see the number drop even more. But yeah, 203.4. I'm hoping within the next month I can get under 200. Like I haven't seen those numbers in a couple years. Um, 
but yeah i'm excited i'm drinking some coffee um starbucks cold brew i guess you can say i use the cold brew or the iced coffee that you would get from the grocery store it was like the unsweetened medium roast and then some califia farms vanilla creamer a little agave syrup in that and so good so that's getting me pumped up so i can have so i can have a productive tuesday and get some stuff done around the house then i'm going to see the new halloween movie tonight with brandon and i am pumped hasn't been really feeling you know like october -y and spooky and fall like except the weather like every day like sunset time it has been so beautiful we're like now now we're not in the 90s anymore we're in the 80s like during the day which is look at my hair y'all which is a big step for florida so yeah i just thought i'd let you guys know that and i think this is going to be the last update i'm going to start editing this video today once i'm done cleaning up around the house and get it up for you guys and yeah if you have any questions about the water fast or you know like I said, you want me to do a QA, and a let me know down below and I will definitely make a QA. and a I kind of want to, so you guys just let me know. And yeah, I definitely see myself doing another water fast in the near future, for sure. Because um, I just felt so good. Like after it, I, I felt like, I don't know, I, I just felt so good. I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in this lovely world. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!